quite area of low pressure just runs on through the Channel area. Could be a little bit further north, and we'll keep you updated on that as we move on through the week. So with low pressure close by, you have to think of showers, if not longer spells of rain. It will be quite windy at times, and the temperatures at or around about the seasonal norm. No heat wave this week by any means. As I say, that rather disappointing process starts already. This area of cloud has been moving through Northern Ireland, the western side of Scotland, in the first part of the day. Some breaks to be had, certainly it's not all misery just at this stage. There is some sunshine to be had through East Anglia down to the southeast of England. One or two drier slots there towards the northeastern corner of Scotland too. But it's this belt of weather moving across the western side which really will disappoint. Blustery showers falling on behind across Northern Ireland. But if you keep the sunshine, you could see 18 or 19 degrees. Now, as we move into Monday, the first area of low pressure running its way up and across the western side, spreading cloud, wind and rain across many parts. And as I say, it won't be the first of uh, the, the major wind events of the week by any means. There you see that uh, pulse of uh, weather working its way towards the western side. A strong southeasterly wind getting into some of those eastern coastal fringes. And then notice that as we move into the latter part of the week, it could well be the case that the winds drop out, and that will have an effect on nighttime temperatures. Mild to start the week, but then notice how those oranges drain away and we get the lighter greens. Not frost by any means, not on a widespread scale, but uh, certainly a cooler end to the week. Tuesday, something of a lull across some parts of the British Isles until the next area of low pressure begins to show its hand down in the south and west. Some heavy and blustery showers ahead of it. You could even hear the odd rumble of thunder as well. Temperatures not much better than 17 or 18 degrees. And then the middle of the week, the second area of low pressure running in towards these western areas, just m mixing those showers together to give longer spells of rain. Thursday, we're back into a more showery regime. All the while through the middle part of the week, perhaps some of the drier, finer weather to be found over on the eastern side of the British Isles through eastern Scotland. Fair amount of cloud there. Bits and pieces of sunshine further to the east and will help to lift the temperatures to around about the sort of the upper teens or so. But always be thinking about those showers or longer spells of rain, certainly merging on the western side of Scotland as we move.